In this class, we are going to cover following topics. We are going to visit this hyperlink and create a free Oracle Cloud account, which will be available for 30 days with the free credits. We will try to create a tenancy name or the account name while we create this free Oracle Cloud account. Now I'm switching over to browser and we'll continue from there. I'm here in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Documentation, which we had seen in class one. Now, if you come under getting started, under getting started, there is this section called request and manage free Oracle Cloud promotions. Under that, there you will find sign up for free Oracle Cloud promotion. Here, Oracle has documented few steps with the help of which we can create a tenancy or a free Oracle Cloud account. Also, you can Google Oracle Cloud sign up and you will find this Oracle Cloud free tier sign up. You can click on this and you can follow rest of the steps. We'll click on this hyperlink provided in the documentation. On clicking on this hyperlink, it will open a new tab with the page wherein we can create Oracle Cloud free tier account. In the form, we have to first fill up the country where we are residing. I'm residing in India, so I'm providing name as India. In the name, I'm providing first name as our channel name. And in the last name, I'm putting it as learning. In email, I'm populating email account or the email ID. Then we have to click on this I am human. Then it will ask for a question like please click each image containing a boat. I'm selecting the pictures where there is a boat. There are three pictures. Click on next. Here there is a boat, boat, boat. Click on verify. It has verified that we are a human. Then we can click on this verify my email. So if you come to this documentation, we have filled the country name. We have provided the name. We have provided the valid email address. Then we had clicked on this I am a human button then we click on verify email. Now if you look at the message over here it is showing email verification link sent. Now we'll switch over to our gmail account and check for any emails whether we got any from oracle. Yes there is this email what we received from oracle cloud infrastructure to verify our email. On receiving this email you have to click on this verify email. It will open a form again and it will prompt you to continue from here. Now we will close our existing form which had we had opened because on clicking on verify email button from our email that opened a new tab. Now I am providing the password over here. passwords matched now i'm providing the company name i'm giving it as bnm learning cloud account name it is taking as bnm apps let me leave it as default now it is asking for the region not all the services available in oci are available in all the regions before checking your home region just make sure the services what you're looking for is available in the region what you're selecting for example, if I am a functions developer, I have to make sure whether the functions service is available in US East. If not, we have to go for US West. Anytime we can have multiple regions, we can subscribe to once we create an uh, tenancy or the cloud account. But better uh, you select the appropriate home region where you configure. Or if you want to be compliant with the regional rules wherein there is a requirement to have the data stored in a particular region then you can select that accordingly as per the requirement here i am selecting ashburn region and if you scroll down there is this section called terms of use we have to click on this continue button now if you go to documentation we have entered the password we have provided the company name we have re-entered the password we created a cloud name in our case it was bnum apps we had selected a home region then we had read the terms of use and continue. We didn't read the terms of use. If you want, you can have a look at terms of use. Next, we will continue from here. So in this form, it is asking for address information. I will populate the details. I am residing in Bangalore. I am populating as some dummy addresses. I'm selecting the state as Karnataka zip I'm providing then it is asking for phone number I will provide the phone number over here click on continue 
after populating address information it will take us to payment verification as the message says you won't be charged unless you elect to upgrade the account we can add, click on this add payment verification method here currently at the time of recording this video we are having option only to pay via credit card if you have a credit card you can opt for this method under billing on information in add payment method it will populate all the details what you had entered and if you scroll down towards the end it will ask for the card type currently there are three card types are selected american express visa and mastercard and you can fill up all the details and click on finish then once you add the payment method you have to click on this agreement and click on start my free trial in couple of minutes your free trial account will be created and you will be notified over email so i am not doing this as i have already created the account so this is only the steps if you check at the documentation we have to enter the address and the phone number then we have to click on continue what we did then we have to click on the add payment verification method and click on credit card this is the only method accepted currently then we have to click on credit card information and then click on finish you may see a small temporary charge on your payment method this is verification hold which will be removed automatically you will, your credit card won't be charged unless you elect for upgrade even if there is a deduction on your credit card it will be rolled back by oracle after adding payment method only you have to accept the terms and condition and click on start my free trial to submit your request for creating oracle cloud account once you click on that button your services are provisioned in your tenancy and you will be redirected to oracle cloud infrastructure console then you can continue from there and you can work on the services offered by oci also you will receive a welcome email with information about your account like the tenancy and other details in our next class we will learn how we can sign into oracle cloud infrastructure console